Hello everybody, Amanda Davis here, and I am here to make a difference by teaching you what I know and sharing with you what I know, and this is going to be a short scope about the word ego and a short story that boosted my ego. And so really it's more, um, I guess, something that happened over time. Um, I, uh, I had a rough couple of years of teaching, my first couple of years of teaching, I guess we all kind of do because it is hard to teach, um, especially your first couple of years coming out. And um, so once I switched gears and went into early childhood, um, I honestly, hi uh, Collier, I, once I switched gears and went into early childhood at my now actually previous job because I just got another new job, but um, I really, it boosted my confidence to go down to the early childhood and be with the younger children because um, being with the younger children, I saw the difference that I was making. I had parents and I had the parental support. Um, I had the administrative support. I had coworker support, <laughs> um, and it was night and day, you know, day, um, all the way with my job working with the younger children, and so it was definitely an experience that boosted my ego and made me confident, and now going into my new teaching job, actually teaching kindergarten, so still young, um, but a little bit older because I was doing pre like super early preschool, so it was like two year olds, and then actually the last few months I had been doing one year olds, uh, teaching one year olds. So teaching two year olds and teaching one year olds, and then to switch gears and go back to five year olds is a little bit different. Um, but I also just know that now my confidence has been built up that I know I can do it to where it's like okay. You know, I, I've developed my teacher voice, I guess I'm saying, um, you know, especially teaching two-year-olds. I developed my teacher voice. <laughs> so that really boosted my self-esteem and my ego to make me feel confident as a teacher um, because it is something that comes with time. So now I'm going into my fifth year of teaching, which is crazy because it doesn't feel like it's been five years already. But um, going into my fifth year of teaching... I definitely feel a lot more confident than I did going into my first year or second year or even third year. Um, but that third year, it, it kind of it got to the point where it leveled off where I was like, no, I can definitely do this. Um, but even now, so, you know, because the longer you do it, it's the kind of thing that the longer you do it, the better you feel. Um, all right, I'm going to end this before I even promote Perry Girls because I don't want it to be too long. But PerryGirls.com, check us out, and I will see you guys later. Thank you, Collier, and thank you to all of the replay web and Twitter viewers as well.